Yeah. It'll just get you, man. Pow, pow, pow. Yo, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> God damn, boy. Yo, 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 what is going on, gang? What is going on? I know it's been a while. Damn, has it been like, it's almost like two months? Uh. But anyway, let me get into the first bit of business. So, uh, as far as for my gun people out there, I did make a couple cool investments uh, in this time. Everything going on, uh, COVID, protests, just life. Um, I made a few investments that I wanna get into. So I'll get in to the first one, which I thought I might've talked about in one of my earlier videos. All right, so this is Comfort Tech with a focus in. Focus, focus, focus. Hopefully I can see that. So this is a Comfort Tech, this is a belly band, right? So you put it around your waist and everything. Um, you put it around your waist and you put your gun, your handy dandy, wherever the hell it is. Here we go. Oh, let me make sure it's safe so I can see. Good. All right, we good, how we looking? How we looking, clear? No mag in it, all right, cool. So this is the, the DB9MSS. I got a video on that um, that y'all could check out. Let it focus in, focus, focus, focus. So that's that. So you put this little guy right in here. Crack it open just like that. See, I, I got the clip still installed. I haven't took it out yet, so I still have the clip installed. Clip jaw, and you take this strap, boom, you clip it on just like that. So that's how that kind of goes. And you put it around your waist. And I must say, it's very good. I've been running with it for about like, um, yeah, maybe like two months. I've been running with it for about two months. It works very well. It doesn't slip, it doesn't pop off. Um, you're able to run full speed and everything with this on you. It took me about like two or three ones to just get used to like the extra weight. Um, that you're running with. It does also have a little pouch here for mag. Get your mag, slide it in there. Perfect. Okay, boom. So now you got gun and your mag. So remember the DB9 MSS, it carries six. That's terrible. So you got your mag in here, it's small, only carries six. And you got your gun. Wrap it around your waist, throw a shirt on there. When I run, I usually have like a a big, uh, not like a huge shirt, but like a bigger shirt um, that I wouldn't really suggest as a t-shirt, but like more like a workout shirt. So it's big enough so when I'm running, I'm not printing. Um, you'd have to like really look very hard to see that, you know, um, number one, I have a belly band on, and number two, it's a belly band containing, you know, a gun. And, um, oh, I don't usually run with the magazine. I will say that. I don't usually run with the mag in. I might just try it just for like shits and giggles one day to see how it feels, but I figured I got six, six in the mag, and I carry one in the chamber, so you, you got seven. I run in a pretty safe neighborhood, at least that's the perception, and I run like in a park, so I mean like, <clears throat> it might not be even mean to run with this anyway, number one, but to run with the extra mag, I just kind of don't see the need for it. Cross fingers. But if you guys want like more info or just a full on video of how I get ready and put it on and everything and like a running demonstration, I could definitely do that. But I'll save it um, for next time because I got some more stuff to get into and I got to get it done quickly. All right. Hope you have been doing good though, man. Hope you have been doing all right. I know life is kicking everyone's ass, so to speak, but we just got to keep chugging along. Holy shit. Lord, you guys see it? Look at that, make sure we focus in, make sure we focus in. Get a good look at it. And again, I'll do a full, full review on this in the next video. I'm just showing you so you see. Get the focus right in there. So this badass child right here. Whew, I can't even fit the whole shit in the frame. Oh, yes, I can. There we go. This badass shot right here is something else. So this, this is from Anderson, right? Um, I bought it, so I'm not gonna say like it's a sponsor. Uh, <laughs> so 
<laughs> but it's from Anderson Manufacturer, so it's an AM15. This baby is pretty nice. I uh, bought it about a month ago uh, at the gun show in Atlanta. So this is, and it comes with a nice, the scope right here is crazy. Any of you are familiar with ACOG, um, they make pretty great scopes. It's like a knockoff scope um, off of them. Again, I'll, I'll give the full brief um, unboxing and review. And uh, yeah, just so you guys see, we're clear on the mag. We're clear. Just to do a safety check. So yeah, I'll do a full review on this. Um, what I will tell you right now, this baby is sweet, sweet, sweet. B E A U. It comes with the standard magazine. Um, it's just like a regular P mag. Holds 30 in. I got uh, some 223 in there right now. I actually got a mix. Yeah, but I mean they're roughly the same rounds of course. So this is just a standard uh, range ammo. Uh, me and the missus went and shot it up and uh, it works very, very good. Um, I think we put about, it was a light, I will say. It was like only about a hundred and change. Under 150, but over a hundred rounds through it. Um, just to test it out, we literally, we got on a Saturday, went the next day and shot it, and it shoots very, very well. I think I might have to sight it a little bit more to my height. Um, I'm a little taller than uh, a lady and everything. It's sighted perfect for her, and she shoots it pretty well. But anyways, also, I got these just to follow up with it. So these are um, Teflon finish mags. These are from a company called Bravo. Shout out to Bravo, Bravo USA. Um, they got the gray finish on there and I really I like it a little bit in comparison to the P mag I know I was watching videos on P mags and stuff and um, the thing that they suggest is just to get in a different type of magazines that you can have so these are just two standard 30 magazines they'll take your 556 and your 223 obviously and um, yeah man they have the P mag follower right here on the top See that the focus in so I'm excited about these I haven't tested these out yet like I said we just bought it and went to the range just with this mag and all good no problems no malfunctions you load the round in it fired and god damn will I say it's nice to be one of the big dogs at the range you know you have to rent those big rifles sometimes and it's like to get that big dog sound we have to bow 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 when you're at the range you know some of y'all know but I know like my first couple times going into the range you see these guys with these like big ass rifles. Or not even big, but just, they have rifles with a nice bark to it to like, make you go like, yo, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> this has a crazy ass bark. Uh, real nice bark, I love it. Like I said, the sight is crazy. Also, if you see the grip right here, oh my God, you see the grip, the groove? Nuts, man. All right, so one last thing I have to say, um, gun related. I do not like, I got this extra mag, uh, this is for the DB9 MSS, see it? So I got this extra mag, it's hollows in there right now. I got the extra mag, how many times have I said that shit? I got the extra mag! No, I'm fucking around. I, get, I don't know if it's whether it's the follower on it, on the top right here, because you can focus it in. But I think I was having some problems, uh, just malfunctions, loading problems when I was at the range last with it. So um, I thought at first, like, I said, man, Diamondback is, they just put this little baby to shit uh, when they made this. But I think, honestly, I'm gonna just try get some more mags um, and test them out. Cause I think I only really had problems with this magazine looking back and thinking about it. So, um, yeah, I will do that and let you guys know. Um, for now, yeah, stick with your Glocks, man, because why not? <laughs> um, other things I've been getting into. So I think last time we were talking about wine and stuff like that. Definitely been getting into different wines. I'm going to leave a list below the, the ones I've been getting into. Fortunately, I haven't saved uh, a lot of those bottles. I was trying to save them for the video to show you which ones um, are dope and which ones I'm leaning on, but I threw them most away. I will say I'm on a whiskey journey right now. I'm on a whiskey and gin journey, trying to just find um, what suits me in this realm. So 
I went to the store a couple weeks ago and bought this uh, Woodford Reserve right here. I will say, I was actually going to the store to buy the Double Barrel Oak Whiskey. It's a video I watched on YouTube about the Double Barrel Oak. So I was going to the store to buy that and um, I either just wasn't paying attention or sometimes I'm suffering when I go into stores and I want something and uh, I'm just gonna buy something else. So that's kind of what I did. I just bought this uh, former here. I'm trying to remember how much it was. It wasn't much. Um, so this is like 90 proof. Uh, the whiskey is not too bad. I like it with ice. Uh, they say professional or real whiskey drinkers drink it straight, no ice, no chill, and that's great. But that's kind of not where I'm at in this whiskey journey. I'm still with ice and still with chill and all that good shit that you need to get through this. Hey man, you pour a glass of this right here. Boy, this is a different kind of element. It doesn't just get you, man. It's weird how, how the whiskey can get you. But anyway, that's that. Me and the missus have been on this for a minute. This is, uh, what's it? I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, Duca Imperial 1917. Very, very beautiful, beautiful imports from Italy. Um, it's a sweet wine. It's a um, dessert wine, I should say. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so after you've had a glass of your Pinot Noir or your Cabernet, um, and you kind of want to like cap the night off, you might pour a little bit of this. And this is extremely nice and sweet, delicious, tasting, bright. I'm trying to think of other smaller words. Fruitful, colorful. It's great. Try it. It's cheap. It's like, it's like 10 bucks. Um, but just pace yourself because you drink too much. I mean, the. This bottle is down to go down in like a matter, less than an hour if you're not really doing this the right way, okay? Again, this is just your dessert wine. Only pull this out when, when everything is done, all right? The, this ain't your go-to bottle uh, to drink on the regular. My Barefoot and Gallo family, uh, which I know you're still out there, don't worry, I was a part of that group too, very proudly for years. And uh, <laughs> it's a little sweeter than that. So this will give you a nice little taste for your night and a night cap. So yeah, guys, um, that's about it for what I want to say right now. I'm pretty sure there's something I forgot to mention, but um, I'll save it for the next video. Water is great. You know, already know what it is. Struggle Man Deal back with another one. Like, comment, subscribe if you like what you see. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell your mother and your daddy and your aunties and your other family. Tell everybody. I'm back. I'm better, hopefully. And uh, let's continue. All right, guys.